government has now made adequate budgetary arrangements to enable all pregnant mothers to access free maternal services in all public health facilities with effect from 1st June 2013. The announcement by President Uhuru Kenyatta could not have come at a better time. The government made budgetary arrangements for free maternity and prenatal care to mothers giving birth in public health institutions with the aim of reducing maternal and prenatal fertilities. <laughs> Meet Gloria Wandia, a resident of Machakos County, has is a story of joy and happiness. Gloria, a mother of two, had a first child born before the program back in 2009 and the other one born in late 2013 after the state introduced free maternity care. Gloria says that while she was expectant with the first child, she was not able to attend all clinic sessions due to lack of finances. By that time, what was going on? na pia equipment zazikuwa kama za 2013. Sa huyo alikuwa mtoto wangu wa kwanza. Sasa mtoto wangu wa pili yenye mwenye nilimpata 2013 nili nilipatana na hizo free hizo free whatever. Ni sikulipa chochote. Nilitoka tu free. She says most expectant mothers in the area opted for traditional delivery which could not in most times lead to excessive bleeding or even death. Rose Mwendwa also shares the same sentiments. She gave birth in November 2013 after the government gave a go-ahead on the free maternity promise that started earlier in June same year. It was like eight months, I was going to be stand, I was going to be a pressure that I was going to be able to get my child to survive by the Kwatumbo. So, I was going to the option to get my child to get my child. I was going to get my child to get my child. Hakaniambia tuweke nasari. Siku lipa pesa yoyote. Nilienda nikambiwa kuza hapo machakos level 5 ni free. Considering the fact that she was jobless and could not afford more services at the hospital, the waiver was good news to her. The introduction of free maternity services as spelled out in the Jubilee Manifesto and the launch of mobile clinics are initiatives the government embarked on in a bid to reduce maternal deaths by two-thirds. Free maternal health care in public facilities have led to a 10 to 50 percent increase in the number of women delivering in hospital across the country. By 2013, Kenya was losing on average 100,000 children annually at birth. According to statistics from the Ministry of Health, that number changed drastically to 30,000 deaths following introduction of the free maternal health care services. The success stories leave Kenya sitting among nations in Africa in terms of provision of affordable maternal health care. Brenda Kiprono, Channel One, News Hour.